wave function that obeyed the Wheeler to win equation. But what picked out the particular solution of the equation that represents our universe? According to the Euclidean approach, the wave function of the universe is given by a Feynman sum over a certain class of histories in imaginary time. Because imaginary time behaves like another direction in space, histories in imaginary time can be what we call closed surfaces, like the surface of the Earth, with no beginning or end. Jim and I decided that this was the most natural choice of class, indeed the only natural choice. We had sidestepped the scientific and philosophical difficulty of time beginning by turning it into a direction in space. The no boundary proposal means that one can picture the origin of the universe as being like the formation of bubbles of steam in boiling water. Quantum fluctuations lead to the spontaneous creation of tiny universes out of nothing. Most of the universes collapse to nothing, but a few that reach a critical size will expand in an inflationary manner and will form galaxies and stars, and maybe beings like us. The fact that we can understand and predict the behavior of the universe is as amazing as it is mysterious. It is the basis for all of modern science and technology. We don't know why we can do it, but we do know how to do it. The recipe is simple. Bring brilliant people together in an inspiring and free intellectual environment where they are encouraged to pursue ambitious and timely research. The importance of special places and special times where magical progress can happen cannot be overstated. It happened in Göttingen, Germany, in the 1920s when quantum mechanics was born, and again in Cambridge, in the 60s, where I was fortunate to participate in the birth of modern cosmology and the theory of black holes. It seems to me, the same ingredients are being assembled here, at the Perimeter Institute in Waterloo. Perimeter's chosen scientific focus, connecting quantum theory and space-time, is central to new insights, not only about black holes, but also nuclear and particle physics, quantum computers, and the science of new materials. Perimeter is a grand experiment in theoretical physics. I am hoping, and expecting, great things will happen here. I would like to thank Neil Turok and the staff of Perimeter for making me so welcome, and all of you for listening to me.